I think I was uh, probably about nine years old and uh, uh, my mother dropped me off at uh, the Red Shield Red Cross Center, Recreational Center in the summertime. Uh, and I would stay there and they had hosted a talent show and um, and I went ahead and, and, and got in the talent show and um, I didn't know how I was going to be received. Just kind of my first time in front of an audience that size. It was, I mean, a huge crowd, like 30 people. And so uh, I didn't know how I was going to be received. And they loved it. And I loved it. And I just, I felt like, you know, I just was free to be creative and to be expressive on that stage. And I knew I, I wanted to do this for as long as I live. From there, I, it was just a constant pursuit. Um, constant pursuit of trying to... Uh, capture that moment again, um, uh, trying to have that sense of um, significance again, and um, to a detriment, um, to the point where I was beginning to find my identity in that, um, but in the, 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 the hunt for identity and purpose, I still enjoyed being creative, and I knew that there was something about it that was innate. There was something about it that was um, um, spiritual, um, for lack of a of better term. And so, um, so I was just enthralled with it, and I just kept at it. And, uh, and it led me all the way through college. You know, I auditioned for a creative arts scholarship and was awarded a full scholarship to go to college. And so it really became just kind of my thing. It was, you know, kind of how... I identified myself as a creative person, as an artist, and so.